The problem, I think, is just our usual way of thinking of the present as something that's constantly falling away. Ultimately, there is no evolution or time. There's just this moment, and then there may be thoughts about a so-called something to come, as if it were outside of this moment. Time and space are a, are, are a mental construct that is superimposed on our experience. Mind identifies itself with the notion of timelessness, which is not timeless, it's a notion of timelessness. When we try to understand it, it's misunderstood. When we try to experience it, it's misunderstood. Christianity would have been, uh, you know, masterful at understanding non-duality because our basic doctrines can't be understood without it. Science is just a story unfolding in chapter by chapter, and new chapters often refute what's been discovered before. Look, I mean, there is no one, and yet we are born with this experience that we are separate. This is the great human drama. The real source of the duality is our sense of self. The truth of oneself is not a state. It's a recognition of what is always here. It's, it's our nature, it's who we are, so we don't need to bother to try to be that. Suffering is the attempt to escape pain. The suffering is simply the sense of separation from our true nature. That sense of duality is the great delusion at the root of our suffering. Suffering is the resistance to the pure movement of life. There's no separation from emotions. Emotions come and then they go. We have emotions just as, you know, they are ragas or music. And that's the freedom in the emotion. Who am I? Mmm, yeah, such a good question. Who am I? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Who am I? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> really, truly. No one and everyone. One of the many ways, the infinite number of ways in which all of this comes together right here and now. The new story that's unfolding from science is demonstrating that individuals aren't so individual. In a society, if enough people become creative, they move society forward into next levels of development, which are much more functional. The next Buddha will come as a Sangha, or the next Buddha will come as a community. There will be special cases of a faster theory that I believe has to take consciousness into account in a fundamental way, and life in a fundamental way. Well, it's a very exciting time to, uh, to be alive, isn't it?